Good morning everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're doing good, because it's good to feel good. It is a, it is a very, not quite overcast, but it is quite cloudy on this Sunday morning here in Dubrovnik. And um, even though there might be a few clouds in the sky, as long as we know there's not gonna be any rain, that's a good thing that matters. Anyway, what's going on today is I am doing a boat, a full day boat trip of the um, Elefishki Island and I think there's going to be a few interesting things going on on each island so yeah let's enjoy that but anyway I need to go pick up some I'm hoping there's some place open because I need to go pick up some swim shorts because as you recall yesterday mine went and I was like oh no <laughs> so yeah I'm on my way to do that and then eventually we'll be on our way to the boat Okay, so I've only just realised that most shops here in Dubrovnik don't open until, like, especially here in the old town. I don't know, what, I'm not quite sure what it's like out of the old town. But most places here don't actually open till 9 o'clock. So, yeah, there's no chance of me picking up any swim gear or anything like that. That's a shame. I'll have to just obviously have the one. I think the good thing is that like when I usually go swimming I usually have like a pair of pants underneath I don't go commando because that'd be a bit cool actually okay so what I was explaining was <laughs> a bit weird for me to bring up on my YouTube channel but like I was explaining how when I go swimming I don't usually go commando I usually have a pair of pants underneath I know they'll drench them out but if anything as long as you know my knob doesn't fall out or anything but anyway I literally just passed by a place to see if there was like any swimwear in that and mission accomplished I got some swimwear so so literally in there like swimwear that's what I like to hear and anyway I'm gonna head over to the pickup point now and then we'll be on the boat soon So we've just arrived in the other side of Dubrovnik. Um, turns out the pickup that came for us um, picked up the wrong people. And so what's actually happening is um, our boat's over there and like the um, guy's been looking for us. So yeah, let's just go meet him. Hopefully we're not too late because if anything, the people on the boat want to just get off. But anyway, let's get on the boat. So we've arrived at the first island, um, I believe it's called Kolosha. I'm probably pronouncing that very wrong, but um, from, from what I know of this tour, it is the smallest of the islands. And I remember one of the reps just saying how, especially in the evening, you get such a lovely view of the sunset. So I think if I did, were ever to come back to Croatia, I'd probably, you know, just spend the night on one of these islands and just enjoy the sunset because why not i should mention i'm probably going to be doing quite a fair bit of walking today and considering yesterday when i was out kayaking obviously i was using a lot of my arm muscles and quite i know i was sitting down most of that time but it's really took it out of me so yeah it's probably gonna be lots of walking and probably gonna be aching by the end of the day but that's all right as i say walker by name walk by nature What I love about Croatian waters is that it's just how clear it is.
Oh, there's a cute little panda watching guard over the beach. That's that's really cute, that is. <laughs> so of course, over there in the distance is Dubrovnik, and then on the other side of that hill is the old town. Like it's just it's very stretched out, and it's just it's just very cool. Anyway, the first island is done. It's time to head back to the boat for the second. Okay, so we've just arrived on Sipan, which is the second island. It's also the biggest island of the Elefishki Islands. And, um, you know, we've got a little while to explore. And then um, eventually after a, f a little while, we'll be coming back here for lunch. So, yeah, let's go exploring again. Okay, so we're just taking a little wander right now, just in like into the middle of nowhere. I say the middle of nowhere. We're just on an island. We're trying to get to where well, there's a church somewhere in that vicinity. And, um, and yeah, I, I, in fact, I can see it right now actually. It's right, right, might not be able to see it just yet, but right up there. And um, we might make it, although saying that we've got to be back for lunch around um, 10 to 1. So we might make it, we might not. There you go, there's a gecko there. Gecko! Gecko! Okay, it's gone. Okay, so executive decision. We've decided not to venture up to that church. I mean, we can see it, it's perfectly up there, but but just, yeah, I don't think we're gonna, yeah. No, we're, we're gonna get there, and we're gonna need to get back, and then we probably might just miss the boat, which is not too ideal. Suddenly been barraded by a bunch of seagulls. <laughs> Not a bunch, a flock of seagulls. So we've arrived on Le Pud, which is the third and final island of this tour. Um, we've got quite, a, we've got about three hours on this island, so if anything, there's a good chance to relax. And they were saying how there's a beach that's all the way on the other side of the island. It's like a lagoon, it's a blue lagoon. So I think I'm gonna, I think I might just go there. Although they're saying that there is quite a fair bit to experience on this island. So yeah, let's we'll see. Also. Got my new swim shorts on. They're quite short, so who wears short shorts? I wear short shorts. Little throwback there. Oh, oh, you know what I was saying about In Betweeners movie? That reminds me of the um, place they were staying in the film. So I think the idea is now that we're on this island, and as I say, we've got quite a fair bit of time to, you know, relax and that. We're heading to like a lagoon beach, which is like, all the way over there. And it said there was like some like buggy services, but um, if anything, nothing's ever clear when you're abroad. So if it's if we chance it, we might just end up walking it. That's all right. I like walking. So panic over. We found a little taxi I service. Ready, but... thank you. Yeah, let's go. Bye, guys.
Okay, so we've made it to the beach and so far so good. The water's nice and cool and refreshing. And honestly, this is this is just something that I've needed for quite some time. Just, you know, a little time away by the beach. You know, open waters. It's brilliant. Love it. We've made it into the water. As I say, it's nice, cool, refreshing. Just what you need for a day at the beach. We've just got um, a little mini cab back to the um, western side of the island and um, thought, you know what, let's go a bit bare chested because if anything, that's a proper island experience. But um, anyway, what is it? I'm going to find somewhere to dispose of these shorts. Of course, these are the shorts where I ripped the crotch piece and obviously, thankfully, that didn't come out. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah, now let's, yeah, I've just got to find, um, find somewhere to, you know, give them like, not a burial, but like you say, if somebody wants them, then they can have them for themselves. So if anyone here on Lopod Island, in, here in Croatia, wants a pair of swim shorts, they have a bit of a, they have a ripped crotch piece, but um, feel, feel, feel free to take them. <laughs> Birthday dear Louise. Happy birthday to you. Hey, woo! Cheers. 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 Chardonnay's getting passed around. On a boat full of <laughs> on a boat full of drunken scots. By the way, I'm first with pride. Yes, I would. But it's not very romantic, but no, I don't do it. Okay, so we finished up the um can't even see me, what's going on? I've turned into John Cena. Right, so we finished up the um um tour and you know what it's been so much fun. Like oh, it's just it's just really done nicely. Oh yes. Uh, but um yeah it's been so much fun. I've had a really great time and I'm I'm back a bit sad to be going because I've 
made lots of lovely company. Yeah. You two take care, all right? Okay. okay. Lovely, you later. lovely you to meet you. Yeah, you too. I love you too. See you later. Yeah. I have a safe flight home tomorrow. Take care. Okay, so I've made it back to Old Town Dubrovnik now. Because um, the sun's getting real low. That's an Avengers reference there. Because the sun's getting real low, I think the plan for me is I really want to catch the sunset. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the same spot where I was on Friday night and um, take some shots from up there. And yeah, hopefully catch the sun in time. I tell you one thing I do think about, with, like, especially with the narrow streets here, there's like. I'm getting some kind of like Assassin's Creed vibes where, um, where like obviously you, you got your assassins, you know, doing parkour across the roofs, but I mean, probably don't for like, you know, security reasons, but um, I can imagine that happening like somewhere, like, you know, people just going roof to roof and just, you know, going wherever they please. Oh, there's a the sunset. I think we can make this. Right, I'm sweating one out right now, just trying to rush to this, but we've made it, so let's catch this. I noticed as I was walking through earlier, like to catch the sunset, um, there was a woman who stopped me because I wasn't wearing my shirt. Because literally, I'd just gotten off the um, shuttle bus and um, got dropped off. Then I was like, oh, I need to catch the sunset and to rush it. Obviously, going through the main uh, main street here as as that was happening, and then she shouted at me, oh yeah, put your shirt on. Or maybe, alternatively, it's a case of maybe they don't want to see my lovely phys physique. I, I don't know. Perhaps, I don't know. Okay, so I eventually have made it back to the hostel. Today has been such a fun day. Like, just, ah, oh, so much fun stuff went down today. And like, so much banter as well, like back and forth between some of the guys that I was with. And it's just nice to like chat to people. I know, if anything, these are all complete strangers who I meet and to know like how like they're all from like different places around the world. Most of them were like most of them were from the UK. Some quite a few of them were from Scotland, and they had a quite a lot of let's just say alcoholic banter. So I, I let them be them, and you know they were having lots of fun. And then also I was talking to um, um, Shelley and Lindsay, who um, both from Manchester, and they like they were here for a wedding, but they've gone out today and had lots of fun and and we were kind of hanging about all together so that was made for a cool experience and yeah it's all good so in terms of tonight i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do um i might head out although saying that i'm actually up tomorrow so yeah very early tomorrow as well so i'll see how the night goes and then i'll see where i go from there Okay, so I've decided not to give in to temptation, and as much as easy as that is, like, I did it Friday night, and to be fair, I was quite hungover yesterday morning, but maybe just one night of the trip, and maybe not every night, you know, did they just go out and just go crazy. My brother's done that in the past, so I don't want to follow in his footsteps. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. It's been a really fun day out at the Elefishki Islands. As I say, the people who I was around were a lovely bunch. And yeah, so I'm gonna um, shut off quite early, and then tomorrow I'm actually doing a day trip to Mostar, which is in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and it's gonna be a day trip, so it's a very early start. It's about two and a half mile, not two and a half mile, two and a half hour drive outside of Dubrovnik, so that's gonna be fun, um, and I look forward to seeing what goes down on that. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna give you some advice as well, and that is to enjoy yourself, stay safe, and make the most of every opportunity that comes your way. Thank you for watching, and peace.